London seemed just a stone's throw away for people visiting the Brooklyn Bridge on its 125th anniversary. And Londoners near the Tower Bridge, well, they could see a tree grow in Brooklyn, all thanks to a visionary artist and to telectroscopes. The telectroscopes, one set on each side of the pond, allow people to see and communicate with their counterparts in real time via fiber optic imaging. It was fantastic. It was just like having a proper window on England. Yeah, kind of sort of familiar, uh, a, a little sight of a little pocket of something familiar right down here in the, on the just by New York. Can I can turn, can turn look, look at one skyline, look at the other. It's nice to, uh, to see the two together like that. Paul St. George devised the art display because of his fascination with illusion and reality, optical effect and perception. Peter Coleman, who helped set up the exhibit, revealed its simplicity. Now we have all this technology. People are still amazed to see one another just standing there looking through the, this device. And they're excited and they hand, hold up little signs and they communicate. There's no audio. And they communicate and they look at each other and they call each other on a cell phone. You can speak to one another that way. And that's what it's all about, something different, something unusual. And in the age of computer teleconferencing and on-the-go mobile communications, getting folks to stand still, even for a moment, is a feat in and of itself, let alone on two sides of the Atlantic. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.